OUTA determined to convince High Court e tolling is illegal and two killed in Johannesburg crash. With your news update, I'm Kensani Maranele. A special team has been set up to track down the gang of suspects involved in last night's robbery and shootout at a shopping centre in Four Ways, north of Johannesburg. A group of men made off with an undisclosed amount of money and robbed several customers of their cell phones and wallets. The police's Bala Mutan says when officers got to the scene, a shootout ensued. One suspect was arrested and his firearm was confiscated, Mutan explains. The suspects in the attempt to flee also hijacked a motor vehicle which was recovered. Members of Douglas Dale SAPS detective branch have now put up a team together and they are busy searching for the suspects. The opposition to Urban Tolling Alliance says it's determined to convince the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria that the e-tolling system is illegal. Court proceedings will start on Tuesday. Civil rights organization EFRI Forum and the Road Freight Association will ask to be admitted as friends of the court and they plan to make submissions. Meanwhile, Kosato says it's set to begin its mass action this coming week to protest against the controversial system which is due to take effect on the 30th of this month. There's been renewed public anger at a new set of tariffs that the South African National Roads Agency Limited has published. The new tariffs entail heavy penalties for drivers who don't register for e-tags. Two men have been killed and two others injured in an accident along the M1 highway at Baclou, north of Johannesburg. It's believed the driver of the car lost control of the wheel early this morning and hit a stream roller construction vehicle parked at the side of the road. ER24's Andre Fisser. The ER24 paramedics arrived at the scene. They found that two of the occupants had sustained various fatal injuries and both of the men were later declared dead at the scene. The one gentleman was trapped in the vehicle and fire and rescue services extricated him from the vehicle. He then received treatment at the scene for suspected back and neck injuries before being rapidly transported to a nearby medical facility. Nine schools have been completed in a fast-track 130 million rand construction program aimed at eradicating mud schools in the Eastern Cape. The new schools are built from already made factory materials. The steel, concrete and board materials are environmentally friendly and can last up to 25 years. Over 500 inappropriate school structures, of which nearly 400 are mud schools, are situated in the Transgay area. Gosikon Amfuchane, who is a principal at Pagamani High School outside Ngobo, had this to say. Conditions of learning and teaching were not conducive. Wherein in one classroom, you would find that we have housed something like 185 learners. But immediately after we moved to this structure, the new structure here, at least that workload has been relieved. Because in one classroom now, on the average, you will have about 44 learners.